Hey YouTube, this is Kunaf90, and uh, <laughs> I gotta say it's been a long, well it's been a while since I've done any reviews, and uh, I mean, I pretty, practically missed, well, forgot to upload at least two, or I forgot to do one. Um, uh, the only thing I pretty much have not, review I've not done yet is Root Beer Guy, and this, I don't know, I don't know, I guess it's kind of late for me to do that. So I'm not gonna bother doing that review. So, um, but uh, today uh, I will be uploading uh, the review for uh, James, which I have in my flash drive, which I will be uploading that today. So just to let you guys know, and heads up. So yeah, so yes, I'm back, and uh, of course, uh, yes. Well, two days ago there was a new special. It was a special or a new episode of Better Time. Featuring the episode of when Mr. Pig and Mr. Pig and um, Tree Trunks, there we go, Tree Trunks, officially got married. Officially got married. And I would, have to, I would have to say of that episode was hilarious, awkward, awesome, and uh, kind of, well, just those three. I can't, and hilarious, that's all I can say, and hilarious. Uh, several reasons, pretty much four main reasons. Awesome is because of PB. The hilarious is because of the King of Ooh, which we all finally get to see, and which pretty much PB think is a fraud. Do not know how, but I guess he's like pretty much a joke of being the King of Ooh. Pretty much, I guess PB sees as a guy as not much of a king or imposter or. A, Pretty much now you're actually the true king uh, of Ooh at all, so that's how I'm seeing it though. But King of Ooh is really hilarious. Like I kind of shocked to actually hear about the guy in the episode, and I was kind of wondering. It's been in my head, kind of wondering on who he was, or I guess I didn't. I didn't bother actually think about it until that episode just came about. But King of Ooh is really hilarious. Awkward because of course LSP. And well, hilarious because, well, let's see, hilarious because of King of Boo, awkwardness because of LSP, and well, awesome because of well, PB, PB mainly, awesome episode because just what can I say? She's Peep, she's Princess Bubblegum. What else can I? What's more can I even say about that? And yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about that. I mean, there's no other words for me to describe about PB that makes her so awesome in every way. And also, may I dare say, uh, awesome princess in the show, period. So, I mean, what's, what can I say about that? Yeah, so, and really awesome because Tree Trunks and Mr. Pig will get married. And it's really good. And also, I really like the episode because more of Jake's, um, we get to see more Jake's kids. And especially um, his son, Kim, wasn't it? Kim Kil Kwan? Kim Kil Kwan, he's, this guy is tall, and he has a beard, a tall and a beard, I'm like, oh shoot, this guy growing up already, and then everybody else, well, I mean, we can see him, was practically everybody, and we saw Cinnamon Bun, which I'm kind of thinking of, is Cinnamon Bun's there, where's FP, but I'm thinking like, okay, FP must be back at her kingdom, so I guess she must not got invited, but okay, but yeah, so, Enough for the formality, it's time to get to the actual review. Now, like I said, uh, Wedding Apples in the episode is really hilarious, funny, well, awkward, and in a kind of romantic kind of way, and really awesome. Uh, for pretty much, well, it was kind of like a, like a, another hype, I want to say hyped up a little bit, a moderate episode, because it's just unexpectedly turn out with Tree Trunks and Mr. Pig actually getting married. And the cool thing that actually kind of shocked me kind of a little bit was Tree Trunks has three X's. And I was kind of hoping that we could see a, I, I kind of hoped that we get a little bit of a more descriptive purpose of Tree Trunks and his and her three X's. Because I'm kind of thinking of, okay, they didn't mention this. Of children's had three axes, and this kind of like popped the question out of my head. I mean, like, when does all occur? And well, I guess 
things probably didn't work out between the three. Well, between the three exes in this case. So, and so PB pretty much will have them separated before the ceremony. She had three exes of tree trunks separated because that way they want to see each other. And I guess they probably didn't want to wreck the wedding, which is the obvious reason, of course. And then Finn, PB had Finn look at the LSP because, of course, we all know about LSP when there's a party going or a wedding or whatever, she always has to be invited. And of course, with that set in mind, she will mess up everything, which is, I think, like, yeah, of course, this has LSP written all over it, right there in the cold, cold dialect of a wooden board. So, yes. And. Yeah, and then now later on, the king of Ooh, now the king of Ooh kind of actually also popped a question because we never know about we never knew about who the king of Ooh was. I guess we got so caught in the, in the um, episodes that's been happening last year, we never even thought about king of Ooh, and it's probably been some theories about him, but we never thought of who the king of Ooh was. And this episode pretty much says who he was, kind of. I wouldn't say more about that, but 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 PB think of King Vu, pretty much he thinks a fraud. But what I see the guy, this guy was like like the most hilarious, chilled out guy ever. And I'm thinking like this guy must be some sort of pimp, chilled out dude, or so hilarious that I'm like wow. Minor character in the in the in the uh, episode, but I wish. I kind of wish they give us more of the scripted piece of the King of Ooh because, frankly, we just know the guy as hilarious and an awesome kind of character, and I'm kind of figuring what what PB thinks of him as a fraud. That's I was kind of thinking in my head because when I first saw King of Ooh, I'm thinking to myself, "Wow, this never came up at all," and I was kind of thinking in my head of who would be the King of Ooh. In all this, and just seeing this guy, I'm thinking like, okay, we seen King of Ooh, he's hilarious and all, but I'm kind of figuring my thinking to myself, why does Princess Bubblegum see him as a fraud? So that's the only thing I'm kind of thinking of seeing. Even the episode probably shows it on how, you know, just like a just a fake signature document of the vows and all that stuff, pretty much of him being the. A priest and all that in the uh, ceremony, even though know, the guy did actually sell that the actual copy. So I'm thinking like, okay, but I wish they showed more about him. So I get, I know I wish they showed more about him. So that's all I can say in that matter. All I say is that for the King of Ooh, show I wish they showed him like a little bit of descriptive piece of him. The, the, Let's at least give us an idea who he was. So that's all it is for that. Um Yeah, and so so now we fast forward it to the ceremony. Uh, Mr. Pig's at the altar, right? Everything's setting up, everything's all all everything's all Peachy King. Finn's trying to look at the P LSP, everything's all Peachy King. PB was off doing her own thing, trying to discover on why the King of Lee was a fraud. And well, of course, well, Train Trunks walking down the aisle, right, get ready, to, get ready to have the good old romantic occasion of her awesome life. And then Bimo, and it was doing her own thing, his or her own thing with this one of Train uh, Trunks' exes. And I think myself, so, okay, well, Bimo's doing, off doing her own thing. <laughs> and then in the mid part of it, where well, things could get better, it got a little bit downhill all ready. Why? Because that LSP, that big lumpy space princess LSP that thinks that she has to be the center of everything just to make things to increase the job, to increase the trauma. And of course she wants to bust in trying to crash the party because because in her way of saying when there's a party I have to be involved. When there's a party I have to be involved. And that's in, in her own perspective way. I have to be involved. And so Finn tried to stop LSP. And I mean, this guy really put in the work. Like, she's, that Finn's trying to stop P LSP from crashing the wedding. 
I was like, nope, 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 that's what Finn said. Nope, 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 nope. Trying to block every, every move. And he just said, like, no, I'm not letting you get near that altar. I'm going to pull you back. Make sure that you will not, and I mean will not, crash this wedding. I'm doing everything I can to stop you. So you can whine about it all you want, but I still will stop you. So you will not get near anybody. And of course, to the halfway to the altar down the aisle, well, some of the chairs got messed up, and then, well, guess what? PB stepped in. PB just crashed a blimp. Crashed King of blimp down the ground. I was like, dang, what do you have? To, what does it have to take to make you so awesome? A crashing a blimp just to uncover this dude is a fraud. Just to show a fake document from, I guess, a different time, I guess. When the King of Wu has the updated, and I mean updated, uh, um, copy, I guess, from the uh, vows of the priest and all that stuff. And, uh, of course, PB feels stupid. But, of course, she feels stupid, and then she locks. And she's trying to put the guy in jail. Wait, she puts everybody in jail. I'm like, dang, really? You put everybody in jail just for something that you made a mistake upon? I'm feeling like, okay, we'll take that. We'll ju we'll take that. And then the King of Ooh was hilarious again, being crazy, trying to trap him in the cage. Like, no, I need to get out. This stuff is crazy. And so, I mean, and I kind of hope that, okay, maybe, I guess, after that big ups upset right there, Tree Trunks probably, probably would not get married. But, Mr. and I like I kind of like this part. Mr. Pig and Tree Trunks still kept going. They still love each other. They still kept going. They kept going to the wedding inside the cage. And <laughs> they kept going still inside the cage. So they actually did get married. They actually did get married. And I'm kind of thinking like, yes, they got married. And it was hilarious. But the one thing I see, I saw that was, of course, stupid. And I mean stupid. That... PB released, released her friends and everybody else, but she released all the criminals, too. I'm thinking like, oh, damn, there we go. There we go. But it was hilarious, though. I actually really, it was hilarious. It was great, but it was hilarious and a minor mistake. I'm thinking like, oh, PB. Awesome. That's all I can say. And so, in the end, PB was looking at, was looking at, um, Mr. Pig and Tree Trunks in her monitor screen, right? And the hilarious thing I thought was so funny, especially when it ended, when Mr. Pig said, uh, I was like, wait, wouldn't there be cameras around when we kiss and all that? And then Tree Trunks said, oh, I hope there, I hope there are cameras. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I think I know where this is going. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm just gonna leave it at that. So yes, that is, so overall, I recommend watching this episode. It's really funny, awkward in a way, but it's awesome because of PB. And minor development, I was hoping I would see. Minor development, I was hoping I would see, but I would still recommend watching it. It's a little, it's really funny, hilarious episode. Because the King of Ooh, I would say overall, I would say PB is awesome as always in that episode. Uh, LSP, of course, trying to brings up the drama of everything. And then King of Ooh is just freaking hilarious. Like, I like the guy. He's like more chilled out and more hilarious. I'm like, yes, I would. I was like, yeah, that's hilarious. Too hilariously funny. So, yes, I would recommend watching it. Like I said, a minor, minor, I was hoping to increase some good minor development of the characters, but it's really good. It's good to see all the um, other characters. In the uh, show, especially more Jake's kids and uh, Lady Rain and everybody else. So I actually did enjoy that. So again, watch it. It's really good and a really good way to like probably kickstart to the next set of ep new episodes, which will be next week. So yeah. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Really good. It's really, really good. Great to be reviewing the episodes again. Like I said, I will be um, doing. Um, uh, like I said, I will be uploading the episode James uh, review today, and I will be uploading this today as well. So, um, hope you, thanks you got. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you as well for watching all my other videos. 
excuse me, including Death Pro, all my gameplays. I'm trying to do some gameplays. I'm trying to do some gameplays. I cannot guarantee it, but I'm trying to do them. So it's going to be a little bit slow. And I don't know about the Games Club videos as well. I'm still working on those. Been, I guess I've been kind of distracted lately, so I'm trying to work on those. So I'll let you guys know on that. So hope you guys stay safe. This is Kunai Nani signing out. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and see you later.